little Brahmin milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Well, what do you know? It worked! I mean, I'm <laughs> pretty sure it would, obviously. Here, take a few radiation chems with you. I'm sure you'll run into more in the future. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll come yeah, to the section of the book. Which strikes your fancy? Well, food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old super duper mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Probably not. Oh, great. Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? Sweet or anyone, yeah, that's or anyone, yeah. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking Absolutely. about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. So it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine. Perfect, cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, they appear like knights of yore, armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, Capital Congressman. Their purpose? To make you, dear America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine. If only for an afternoon. Now, ask yourself this. What if the Capitol Congressmen could live again? What if they could compete with baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland? Put your faith in John Henry Eaton, Great America, and baseball will live again. Creation, healthy competition, all will live again. This country Good hunting. will live again. So remember, America. Enclave is Unless it's a steaming pile of slag, I'd say yes. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Until next time, this is John Henry Eaton signing off. Have fun out there, okay? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Good boy. Alright, you're not. Moriarty at your service. Welcome to Moriarty's. My saloon, my home, my slice of heaven in this backwoods little burg. If you've got the caps, I've got your pleasure. Please sit down, make yourself comfortable. Your troubles are a thing of the past. My God, it's you. The little baby girl all grown up. Persistent little flower, ain't you? Then and now it would seem. It's been a long time, kid. 
Oh, your daddy passed through here, all right. Here and gone. Got what he came for and then left. I'm assuming you'll do the same, correct? Is that what your father told you? That you were born in that hole? That he was born there as well? So we were told. Your father brought you to the vault right after you were born. To keep you safe, you see. I remember it well, you stayed in my saloon after all. That's right. Your father, his brotherhood a steel friend, and you, the suckling babe with nary a tit to suckle. Sorry about your mom, truly. Eh, but life goes on. Daddy lied. Life's full of little disappointments. And now you're all grown up and wondering where he's gone to. Ah, I see. You know, I heard about the brainwashing that goes on down there. Yeah, I would. Brainwash. All hail the overseer. We're born in the vault. We die in the vault and all that other assorted lunacy. Kid, you've got better programming than our own deputy weld. You'd best wise up quick. Wouldn't want anyone taking advantage of you, hmm? You seem like a nice kid, so I'm going to be straight with you. Your dad was here, and now he's not. And yes, I know where he went. But what you're asking me for is information, and information is a commodity. Let's say a hundred cops, and daddy's location is yours. Very reasonable. All right, kid. Then I guess there's nothing else we have to say to each other. Come back to me when you have the cops, and we'll talk. Wait. Is that... Damn it. Goddamn radio. Stupid radio. Hey, smooth skin. You need something? A drink, maybe? Anything? Anything at all? Wait. You're not gonna hit me? Yell at me? Not even berate me a little bit? Yeah. Well, now. That's a surprise. I'm used to every asshole smooth skin in this town giving me shit just because I look like a corpse. I'm glad to see that there are a few worthwhile people around here. Listen, Moriarty'd have my head if he caught me selling at a discount. But for you, I'll risk it. Oh yeah, I do remember a guy like that. Honestly, I usually keep my head down. I tend to get smacked around if I look customers in the eyes. But talk to Moriarty, he'll know more. That's his way. Always putting caps before people's lives. Yeah. I wish someone would stand up to him one day. Oh my, I shouldn't be saying all of this. I'm sorry, I, I really must get back to work. I can't get involved. I'm so sorry. See you soon. Don't look at... Hi there. I'm Nova. New to Megaton, huh? Do yourself a favor and keep walking. Some of us stay for a few days, and then it's five years later. It takes you renting a room, sleeping it or don't. I don't care. I get paid either way. Well. For you, a room and some company will run you 120 Yikes. up front. Well, you aren't gonna get very far with no money. You serious? 
Oh, you must have come from that vault, right? Yep. It's the only free radio station left in the wasteland. The guy who runs it, Three Dog, he's like the only person who seems to give a shit. He keeps talking about fighting the good fight or something. Better than the crap on the other station. Take care of yourself, hon. I got I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with So, how's the scaving been? Got the food medicine from that super duper mart? Do you think I suddenly lost track of time or something? There's yeah. no What do you need? This is President Eden, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. Hello again, America. This is John Henry Eden, your President. 
some things we should talk about, if that's all right. 